Benfotiamin is a synthetic version of thiamine, also known as vitamin B1, which is essential for many of the body's functions, including strengthening the immune system and protecting the brain. Research suggests benfotiamin may be especially useful for protecting the body from the harmful byproducts of too much sugar and improving symptoms of diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe. What is benfotiamine? Benfotiamine is a fat-soluble derivative of thiamine, vitamin B1, that is more easily absorbed through digestion. Benfotiamine is altered by gut enzymes, phosphatases, and then broken down into thiamine by red blood cells or in the liver. In animal studies, taking a benfotiamine supplement increased blood levels of vitamin B1 five times as much as an equal dose of thiamine. Health benefits of benfotiamine. Possibly effective for 1. Complications from diabetes. Although it increased both insulin levels and the breakdown of sugar for energy in animal and cell-based studies, the most promising benefit of benfotiamine in diabetics comes from its ability to block the production of the sugar byproducts that cause diabetic complications, advanced glycation end products or ages. Indeed, benfotiamine reduced the levels of ages in three small trials on 56 diabetic people. When paired with slow-release alpha-lipoic acid, benfotiamine reduced complications in nine diabetic patients by normalizing levels of ages and inhibiting other harmful protein reactions. Benfotiamine has been most widely investigated for improving age-derived nerve damage that causes weakness, numbness, and pain, neuropathy, in people with this condition. In four studies on over 250 diabetic patients with neuropathy, 6 to 12 weeks of benfotiamine supplementation improved nerve damage and its symptoms, including pain. Benfotiamine also reduced the pain caused by inflammation and nerve damage in diabetic mice. A combination of benfotiamine and vitamins B6 and B12 improved nerve damage and feeling in fingertips in two studies with 80 diabetic patients. However, two clinical trials, both six-week and 24-month studies, in 90 diabetics, found that benfotiamine supplementation did not improve nerve function, reduce inflammation, or improve blood vessel function. The daily supplements of benfotiamine protected 13 diabetic patients from the potentially harmful effects of a meal that contained high levels of ages by reducing free radical damage and blood vessel dysfunction. Benfotiamine protected diabetic mice from the harmful effects of excess sugar on the cardiovascular system. It improved circulation and blood vessel health, strengthened heartbeats, and reduced heart muscle cell death. Benfotiamine increased the breakdown of sugar while reducing the production of NOx4 in muscle fibers. The NOx4 gene is involved in heart failure, kidney failure, and diabetic nerve damage. Benfotiamine also protected human retinal cells from high blood sugar by stabilizing cell structure and reducing cell death. Benfotiamine improved blood vessel health and kidney function in diabetic rats when combined with phenophobrate, a drug primarily used to reduce cholesterol. However, benfotiamine alone failed to improve kidney damage due to diabetes, diabetic nephropathy, and prevent age buildup in a clinical trial on 82 people. Taken together, the existing evidence suggests that benfotiamine may help with some diabetic complications caused by the buildup of ages, especially nerve damage, although the results are mixed. Other potential benefits have only been studied in animals, and the supplement is possibly ineffective for kidney damage due to diabetes. Discuss with your doctor if benfotiamine might help with your diabetic complications. 2. Damaging Effects of Alcohol Alcoholics are typically deficient in thiamine, which impairs their cognitive abilities and psychological well-being. Daily supplementation with benfotiamine improved depressive symptoms in 85 long-term alcoholics and reduced drinking in 21 alcohol-dependent women, suggesting it may facilitate recovery. However, a drug more commonly used for spinal cord injury, cerebral palsy, and multiple sclerosis, baclofen, was more effective than benfotiamine to prevent relapse in a clinical trial on 122 alcoholics. In two trials on almost 100 people, benfotiamine improved nerve damage caused by alcohol, alcoholic polyneuropathy. Its combination with vitamin B6 was also effective in two trials on over 300 people. A dose of benfotiamine 30 minutes after consuming alcohol protected the liver from damage in mice. Promising but limited evidence suggests that benfotiamine may help with alcohol withdrawal and alcoholic polyneuropathy. You may discuss with your doctor if it may help as an add-on therapy in your case. Insufficient evidence for 
The following purported benefits are only supported by limited low-quality clinical studies. There is insufficient evidence to support the use of benfetiamine for any of the below listed uses. Remember to speak with a doctor before taking benfetiamine for these purposes and never use it as a replacement for approved medical therapies. 1. Osteoarthritis. The buildup of ages also contributes to the progression of osteoarthritis. An ages inhibitor with benfetiamine and vitamins B6 and B12, taken for 24 weeks, reduced pain and inflammation, while improving mobility in a clinical trial on 30 people with this condition. 2. Reducing the harmful effects of smoking. Smoking increases inflammation and oxidative stress in blood vessels, which can eventually lead to blood vessel dysfunction. Benfetiamine reduced these harmful effects by half in a small trial with 20 participants. 3. Reducing the adverse effects of hemodialysis. In a pilot study, benfetiamine enhanced the antioxidant defenses and reduced DNA damage in 15 hemodialysis patients. Benfetiamine also protected the kidneys and gut of rats during dialysis by reducing harmful ages in the blood and stabilizing cell structure to reduce cell death. 4. Alzheimer's disease. Benfetiamine improved the cognitive abilities of five patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. Similarly, it reduced cognitive impairment and the buildup of a protein that triggers Alzheimer's, beta amyloid, in mice. In a cell-based study, benfetiamine prevented the accumulation of plaques associated with Alzheimer's disease in brain cells by reducing the production of GSK3. Benfetiamine also reduced inflammation in brain cells, a known cause of neurodegenerative. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.